Logie 2. This is Kenny Evans. Got another car video going on for you here today. And this video is about the truth about choosing signals. Choosing signals are a very hot topic when it comes to dating women and just in, in, in this whole, um, I guess, modern society when it comes to dating. You know, because a lot of guys believe just because they get choosing signals that a woman is automatically attracted to them and or they'd want to sleep with them. You know, and I even used to believe that back in the day before I really um, uh, experienced life and knew better. You know, and a very important thing that I learned from Mr. Locario, actually. He says, what is a woman choosing you for? A great question. Because I believe it could be one of three things. It could be your money, your status, or because she's actually sexually attracted to you. And that's obviously what we want. But women could see you pulling up in your fancy car, or maybe um, they know somebody who knows you, and maybe they talked that their friend who knows you talked good about you, and they're intrigued about you. You know, and you know you got a woman who will pull up in your fancy and see you pulling up in your fancy car, and they'll be looking at you. You all dress nice, and all they'll want you for is for your for your your money. Or maybe to ride in your car, to be seen riding in your car. Or maybe for you to take him out on uh, extravagant dates, you know. Or again, you could be the the guy who has the quote-unquote status. And that woman has a friend who knows you and maybe they talked good about you. Or maybe you, you, you could be um, someone on the rise, maybe a future professional athlete or a future rapper. And they... they they see you and they're like, hmm, maybe if I get to know this person uh, before he's blowing up, hey, maybe I can get some shine too. And they be check checking you out, choosing you. And they just want you for your status or the appearance or the, of how they could look if they are seen with you. You know, so it's very important to understand what a woman is choosing you for. And if she's generally sexually attracted to you or even interested, interested, uh, interested in you. And again, I had a very um, good way of uh, figuring that out. Um, I said that in my video last week about uh, w whether a woman is truly interested in you or is just an attention war. But I'll recap here. Pretty much. You know, you go up to a woman, you approach her, you give her a nice compliment, and then you have a no-oriented question. And the no-oriented question I came up with, very simple, is this a bad time to talk? If she says anything other than no, you know, she's not really interested or she has low interest. But if she says no, it's not a bad time to talk, you know, she has at least medium to high interest. But the key is the name test. Name test was from Corey Wayne. So you ask her your name, her name, she tells you. But if she asks your name, you know, she has medium to high interest. But if she does it, you know, she has low interest to no interest. And if she says it's a bad time to talk or it's not a bad time to talk, but then she does not ask your name, you know she is just looking for your attention and she's not genuinely interested in you. She just wants your attention for a conversation. But of course, this is nothing is 100% when it comes to human beings. It's always variable. So even if she says it's not a bad time to talk and she, she passes the name test or asks your name, you know, you have a higher the likely chance that she has an interest in you, you know, medium to high interest. But again, she, you know, depending on how things flow after that, your obedience, submissiveness, um, you guys have a good chemistry, energy. Um, she's cooperative. All those things you got to check. 
in order to get to where you want it to go. So the name test and the no oriented question, those help. And those kind of give you an idea where she's at her interest level. But those are just marks to show that she has in high interest, but she still has to pass other tests. You know, so that is, uh, you know, very good way of seeing if you have a woman who is genuinely interested in you sexually or just in general. So, but still, let's even say she is sexually interested in you. She passed all the tests or at least the name test and the orientate, you know, the no oriented uh, question test. And let's say she's choosing you and she, because she's sexually attracted to you. She still, well, first you have to still approach her <laughs> first. You still have to approach her. And then second, while you're approaching her, the interaction still has to flow. Again, you do the name test, no oriented, to, uh, um, no oriented question, but she still has to be obedient, submissive, cooperative to you. She still has to get, have a good personality, you know, like her voice. And I mean, even if you just want to have sex with her, you st she still has to um, make you feel good. You have to feel good around her, and I get it. If you're just looking to fuck, nah, you don't have to do all that. Just looking to sex. But if you want to have sex with a girl who you enjoy being around, maybe potentially going for more. And this is just in the beginning now. You know, she has to have all that stuff, obedient, submissive, um, um, cooperative, all that stuff. Have a nice personality. It's very important. It's very, very, very important. But then again, on the flip side, she may not like your voice. You may not come off as confident to her. She might not like your personality. And she may be turned off just as much as you may be turned off for the stuff that she um, is not doing right for you. Even though she gave you choosing signals because she was sexually attracted to you. You know, so it's not a fail proof just because you get choosing signals. You know, it's not a fail proof that she's going to that she likes you. And that she actually wants to have sex with you or is genuinely interested in you. And then even with that, you get choosing signals. You know, how many men truly get choosing signals? Not very many. You know, most men are not that attractive guy who women are going to be choosing on. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, you get those few choosing signals from women. Most of the women who are going to choose you are women who are not even, that you don't find attractive. Most guys who do get choosing signals from women, they don't find that woman attractive. It's just natural, human nature. You are not going to find most of the women who choose on you attractive. You know, of course, unless if you're that super attractive guy, or maybe you're a celebrity, you know what I mean? But on average, most of the women who choose you are not going to you're not going to be that attracted to and then and this is the key you know <laughs> like i said you're not going to be getting a lot of women who choose on you uh, average guy average guy's not going to get a lot of women who choose on you so let's say you see an attractive woman but she's not choosing you what do you do you just let her go wait for another woman you see in the future to choose on you or do you approach anyway aka cold approach despite the choosing signals and that's the key that is truly the key because this video is not about cold approach versus um, choosing signals but there are going to be a lot more women who don't choose you who are don't send you choosing signals or they don't even see you in general, but you see them. And then you got to approach and then continue the cycle with the whole, um, you know, name test and no oriented question and all that. And all those other checks of interest, you got to go through that. But you got to realize cold approach is just more efficient way because you are able to get women on your leisure whenever you see a woman you could approach her when you want don't get me wrong don't get me wrong choosing signals 
are brilliant. You know, guys feel confident and more comfortable approaching a woman when they get choosing signals. But again, most guys aren't getting choosing signals. And if they are, most of the time it's from women they're not that really attracted to or interested in. So in order to get women that you truly want, that you find attractive, you have to go approach. It just, it just is what it is. You got to do the cold approach. You know? And that's all about being confident and being the best version of yourself and feeling comfortable about yourself and confident and, and being able to approach women without them giving you any choosing signals. That's, that's being an alpha. If nothing else, just for dating. You know, so definitely, definitely, definitely um, something to do if you truly want to get all the women that you want, you know, so yeah, uh, this will be the end of the video again, uh, you YouTube, you know, like, comment, subscribe, let me know how you feel, uh, hit that notification bu button to hit and get more um, notifications. We get notifications whenever I get, whenever I load new videos. Um, donate if you find value in the video. <clears throat> donate, help out, support the cause, and I guess till next week. I'll see y'all, and be safe.